Okay, hello dear friends, good evening, such a beautiful, beautiful evening. So today we learn about dividing measurements. Dividing measurements. And uh, why do we divide measurements? For example, Yang Laoshi has, Yang Laoshi teacher Yang, Yang Laoshi has a beautiful ribbon in art class. <clears throat> and there are five girls. Each one wants to have some. To make it fair, I want to divide it into five equal parts. You go to a party and there is um, a big jar of uh, sangria, sangria, a big jar of drink, and you want to share between nine people equally. That's the reason for dividing. Okay, for dividing measurements, we go from easy to more complicated. Easy one. Easy. What do I mean easy? Is completely. It can be completely divided within the unit. Within the, the unit. For example, um, eight kilometer, 400 meter divided by four. You can just go ahead, write down two kilometer or 100 meter equal to. But uh, as a teacher, I would like to write it step by step. So you do the first unit first, the big unit, eight kilometer divided by four equal to how many? Two kilometer. Four hundred meter divided by four is one hundred meter. So the result is two kilometer, one hundred meter. And because it can be completely divided, so it's relatively easy. And this is a metric system. Now we do um, a standard system or imperial system or American system. We do it American system. We use the word American system. It's easier for us to remember. Question number two. Uh, <clears throat> five... Five pound fifteen ounce divided by five. So you do unit by unit. Five pounds divided by five is one pound. Each part is one part. 15 ohms divided by 5 is 3 ohms. So the result pound ohms. The result is 1 pound and 3 ohms. I hope I'm not too much out of uh, the range. Okay, so this is the result. Okay, let's take a look at another problem. Question number three. Question number three, we make it become more complicated. It is more complicated, but within the metric system. Okay, question number three is three kilometer, 60, 600 meter divided by six. What do we get? You can do several ways. One of the method for this metric system, you can turn it into three kilometers, uh, 600 meter becomes 3,600 meter divided by six, which is 
600 meter and the result is a 600 meter just so easy so simple okay okay hello dear friends question number four question number four is a little bit more complicated because it's american system there's nothing wrong with american system it's just uh, the american system the the measurement conversion is not 10 based five feet four inches divided by four can you write down 54 no you cannot because reason just for your reference one foot equal to 12 inches okay so we need to remember this so you can do several ways there is one way you change five feet directly into totally into inch that is a way another way to do it when the number is big divide foot divide inch two level of division the first level five feet divided by four is one foot and remainder is one so i have a total of uh, five foot but five feet five feet four inches one two three four five four inches so you first see how many complete how many complete feet can be divided by four we only have four can be divided four and here we have another foot this is four foot here is one foot one foot and four inches and this part need to be divided by four again so we have a remainder of one foot plus what we already have plus four inches together we need to figure out this length divided by four so i write it vertically so that you can see directly what i'm writing about right one foot equal to 12 inches did i change anything i did not change anything why do i write into inch because i want to make everything uniformly in the same unit make it into inches one foot equal to 12 inches and you you go to a higher level cannot be divided you downgrade into a lower level go to inches plus four inches and then you can be divided you can become a big number right so 12 plus 4 did i change anything not change anything not yet did i change anything 16 inches still i did not change anything divided by 4 copy the four 16 divided by 4 is 4 inches did i change anything i did not change anything i only do the operation right so here we get a result 4 inches so into the unit here is 4 inches 4 inches 4 inches 4 inches 4 inches 4 inches 4 inches, four inches 1 foot so actually each part is one foot and a little four inches one foot four inches one foot four inches one foot four inches so it's a six it's a four equal parts so the result is one 
foot four inches right that is the method to do it okay first part uh -huh. i have six gallon and one quart of drink divided by five how much is it so it is the same thing first we divide a gallon six gallon divided by five and each part is one gallon and the remainder is <coughs> one now we move this remainder one from a higher level to downgrade into quarts so one gallon plus one quart where is this one quart you have not used and keep on to be divided this to be divided by five so you divide the big unit and then divide the small unit <clears throat> did i change anything one gallon oh for your information one gallon is four quart okay so it's a four quart i write qt big way plus one quart divided by five is i didn't change anything right four plus one is five quart divided by five is one quart so up to the gallon to the unit of gallon is one when it is divided by five one gallon complete and up to the quart down to quart is one quart complete okay so this is the result where is question number six answer my questions nine pound one ounce divided by the same thing how many pound how many ounces the same thing we need to go to the pound and then the ounce let's do the pound one nine pound divided by five can we write 90 91 we cannot reason one one pound equal to 16 ounces important remember it okay so nine pound divided by five is one pound and remainder how many remainder is four now we move this four down one level into ounces plus the remaining one ounce will be divided by five again so the remainder is four four pound four pound has not yet been divided so move it down the remainder four pounds plus one ounce this and this together they are divided by five again. One pound is 16 ounces. Four pound is four times 16 ounces plus one ounce divided by five. 16 times four is 64 ounces plus one ounce divided by five equal to 64 plus one 65 ounce divided by five is 13 ounce so this is when it goes to 
the unit of ounce is 13 ounce. When it goes to the unit of pound is one pound. So the result is one pound, 13 ounce. Okay. Is it difficult? When you calm down, when your brain is cool and not in a rush, you can do this. You can do it very well. It's not difficult. When there is noise, when there is a rush, when you are thinking how I can make it the best of myself, and when you give yourself too much uh, a pressure, you cannot focus. Do not think about anything. Do not think about test the result. Think about clearly solving a problem. When you solve a problem and you prove it again, uh, use the, 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 the reverse operation, prove it, and think logically, just use common sense to solve a problem and prove yourself is right. It's such a joy. Pleasant. Thank you very, very much. I love you. I really do.